Welcome back, folks. Today's video will be a very special edition of my Noob to Pro series, which will mark the beginning of the USA Tech Tree grind. Today's special contains four rounds of my F20A playthrough, so let's jump right in. For any new joining viewers, this commentary has been added post-recording. If this is your first video in this series, please consider starting from video number one, where I begin my playthrough with the Kafir Canard. But don't click away just yet, stay tuned to see the first impressions of a level 20 player on the top tier playstyle of Battle Rank 12. In these four videos you will notice a lot of variation on my on-screen keyboard, as I was still experimenting with what I wanted to go with. I was shooting for something that shows all of the keys pressed, but minimalistic, and didn't take up much screen space. By the way, I will be discontinuing the subtitled version of the videos, they just take a lot of time, especially when the videos are this long. If you enjoy Salt, please glance at the chat and excuse my rage baiting, I couldn't help but troll them a bit. Watching back at this recording, the very first thing I do in this round is a mistake. I almost exclusively fly low now, to one, practice my low flying and terrain evasion, and two, to be able to evade radar missiles by making them crash in the ground. These rounds are ordered chronologically as I recorded them, so the first round I'm the least experienced with this battle rank in comparison to the next round, and so on. Please note that I'm very much an inexperienced player and been playing War Thunder for 15 days now. I've only played one or two weeks back in 2015 before I started again at the beginning of March this year. So if you have any tips on how to improve my playthrough, please drop them in the comments below. I read and respond to each and every comment, and tips and suggestions are always appreciated. Regarding the F-20, I honestly prefer it over the Kafir Canard. This battle rank is much more dynamic and more exciting to play. The planes are faster, they handle much better, the missiles are better, and there is much more going on in general. My secondary weapons loadout is two AIM-9L missiles, which I use when I'm chasing someone at their tail and when I expect them to make sharp turns since the missile has a 30G overload. I also have two AIM-7F missiles equipped, which I almost always fire head-on at close range. I still haven't gotten used to the cannons and the ammunition, and I'm still getting a feel of how much leading I should have at different distances. What I'm trying to do here is keep the tracking locked on the enemy's plane and within my radar's range. I try not to make any sharp turns so I don't lose him on either side. That's why my maneuvering here is a bit wonky. I never run out of my countermeasures and I always have some left at the end, so I figured I'll drop some just in case, even though there wasn't really a need to. In today's plane card, we will be reviewing another plane from the SU-25 family, the SU-25BM. This information has been taken from the wiki at the time of the recording of this video. At a first glance, the airframe of the plane is identical to the SU-25K from our previous plane card in the last episode. However, the stats are slightly worse than the SU-25K. The plane is slower, and its turn time is worse as well. The SU-25BM does however carry more countermeasures than the 25K, and they are 256 in total. 
My initial impression was that this plane would be a prime target for the radar missiles, since it can't maneuver well. But I suppose notching could also do the trick. But the wiki, however, states that the countermeasures allow the aircraft to avoid infrared and radar-guided missiles with ease. The 25BM also does not have an afterburner like the 25K, and maneuvering and dropping two or four flares will be enough to avoid most of them. The SU-25BM is armed with the same cannon as the 25K. It has one GSH-30-2 cannon, which is chin-mounted, with 250 ammo in total. On its secondary weapons can be equipped two R-60MK missiles and two R-73 missiles. All in all, this plane is not really good for dogfights, and it's best implemented as a hit-and-run plane. On the screen right below the keyboard, you can see a notification of each key pressed. This is something I found pretty useful, as the on-screen keyboard sometimes doesn't show more than a couple of frames if the key is pressed quickly, and it only shows the pressed key in real time. The notification, however, can be customized to stay on screen for a certain time before it fades away or is replaced by a different key. My main strategy in this battle rank is, try not to be first at the battleground. The F-20 is a really fast plane, so it's easy to be first there and shot down within minutes. So I usually take long routes, fly around, take in the scenery, and once the enemies are distracted, I swoop in and make some noise.
I wonder if notching the whole flight to the battleground will result as not showing up on the enemy radars at all. Please let me know in the comments below if this is the case, or if my assumption is not actually correct. This is the final change to the on-screen keyboard. I modified it to show a count when the key is kept pressed, and I removed the full-sized keyboard. Please let me know in the comments below which version you preferred. As of now, I plan on keeping the setup like this, but if you prefer seeing an actual full-sized keyboard along with the notifications, or just the keyboard with no notifications, I will continue in the future videos with that setup.
Roger that. The enemy is getting closer to victory. This one sneaked up on me. I gotta give them props for this. The radar warning receiver didn't even pick it up. I noticed that I've gotten a bit less missile paranoid and rely too much on the warning receiver. Back when I flied with the Kafir Canard, the warning receiver wasn't that good, so I was always on the lookout at every direction. As you can see, I'm just spraying and praying. Like I said, I still don't have a good feeling of how much I should lead my shots, but watch me in a week or two, I bet I'll be an absolute pain in the butt in the top tier battles. Don't let anyone demean or be condescending to you folks. With enough resolve and hard work, there is nothing you cannot achieve. Now, repeat after me. What one man can do, another can do. What one man can do, another can do. Say it again. What one man can do, another can do. Say it again. What one man can do, another can do. Yeah, you're goddamn right.
Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.